And this is who here? Well, the, the front part will explain the banana job business. <laughs> but from the sea part, you have all the signs and everything. Okay, yes, so um, let's go check it out. Yes, I need to do some little tidying up. So how did my tour guide get behind this counter? Um, that, that's to say you have an all-purpose tour guide. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so tell me about this place. Where are we now? Here is um, here's my place. Oh, it's yours. It's my place. It's, I am the Banana Joe. So you have to welcome us to your place. I am so willing to do that. <laughs> And as a, as a matter of fact, for start, if you like, maybe you can just grab the name. Okay. And then we come and we chat. So we take it, hold it. All right. So this is your name. Yes. Upstairs All right. There, upstairs that continue my museum. Because upstairs there, you hope to do what? Continue the museum. You see all these uh, this pieces there? Look at the sand around that piece of wood out there. All this is a museum. I, I have a merit museum. Driftwood. Okay. Driftwood. Okay. So merit means driftwood? That's right. So um, upstairs, I want to do a, a, a little different version of the museum, maybe with more drawing and photographs and maybe with booking and so on. But also so the, the, is there know. anything you have that you can show us in the meanwhile? Of course, yes. that's why I keep it, I try to keep it as this simple. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I tend to want to take up the things that I think people might be interested in. Everybody said to me, wow, Joe, this is this, this is good. Okay. So I'll just take up the things and I believe in um I believe I'll show you this this piece of craft. This is a this is a map of character like you can see. But this is history because I had I made this many many years ago. Many like 20 years ago already. I carved this. Great but, job. But my friend painted. I didn't do the painting. Okay. And you see this boat here? That's the Banana Joe. 20 years ago, and I only built my boat. My Banana Joe boat there, I only built that three years ago. So that's your Joe outside there? That's the Joe out there, out there. But it's like it was a dream all 20 years. Right, you said it was a dream 20 years ago? Well, yes, of course. Okay. Because I actually put it on this Sunday this slate long, long before I even built the boat. Imagine. Uh, you know, is, you know, Dreams to come true, eh? Yes, 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 of course. <laughs> and you know, it's historic with this because I make this special. If you notice, here is Till Bay. Till Bay for Kareko, we consider it like there is a church and farming animals. See? There's the church, church from Have You. I did the church of the jet, I remember 20 years now. But here should be Six Road and we put it for Big Drum. Okay. And here is the airport. So we put, you know, you see that little plane up there? And I think it's Boris here, that's it. No, that's that's a, a town? That's a town. Lovely. And Winwood, Pity Carnage, you know, so we tend to make this really, this is a special. Well, boat. I'm seeing a boat for Winwood. Well, that's where the boat Pity Carnage, is. That's yeah. right, that's right. So it's like we separate the villages. Since in them I'm not seeing the ruins for Bel Air, though. Well, I think Bel Air, your village is so high up the mountain. <laughs> I think I was so flat on the beach here, we are missing. But next time. <laughs> Good. But, but, but Bel Air is supposed to be somewhere in between here, and it? Yes. So be yes. there between Bel Air, Bel Right. Yeah, you get the green. You're, yes. you're green. You see, this green represents you. <laughs> Lovely. Fresh air with water, Bel <laughs> All right. Yes. What's this? It's a local name. It's a scuttle, but it's a screen. The mm. local divers just coming back from diving, deep tank diving. And they bring and it for the master. This for me. So I bet I would catch a healthy fish on this one of them day when I go to the channel. We're cooking a broth down here. Yes, of course. Yes, <laughs> of course. Yes. Right, so what's this painting? Um, it's a famous painting from the second best artist we had on the island and uh, one of the second best. Especially in those years, he was the second best. Mm -hmm. that, this one was from Anthony Francis. So Kanye Calisto was the best? Yes. And I also had, I have a drawing of the same boat with Kanye Callis. Mm -hmm. But after my father passed out, I give it to one of my niece. She lives in England now. Oh, okay. So I keep this one. But this is my father's daddy vessel. So that's the one that sank? Yes. She sank under Dominica in 19. What was the name again? Catherine Isabella. Catherine Isabella. Yeah. This boat was built in Grenville and sailed through the Caribbean for more than 12 years with no engine. Taking what? care of from Trinidad going as far as Anguilla, and, uh, and Antigua, Anguilla, everywhere in the Caribbean. It's on the sail. Wow. And it was three years after they put her engine in, uh -huh. she sunk. 
Then you didn't have to put the engine. No, but the thing is, she was, you see when you're sailing, you know vibration, just, yes. just, and after they put it, they was going to make that trip knot and go back to dock the boat. Because with the engine now vibrating, uh -huh. it was a different thing than just sailing. Uh -huh. So my father said to me, my father was my best friend. He teach me almost everything. I didn't learn much in Leicester school. I didn't stay long in junior second either. I learned while sailing. I left school at 14 and I went sailing, all through the Caribbean. Then I come 16, I was a citizen child doing construction work. <laughs> so I take my, at least what my father say, you know, you need to buy papers if you're going on sale. You need to keep a Bible. I'll now have a Bible. I'll, I, I read so much now that you might believe. But when I left school, I was no best, nowhere near best reader. So my father said, your mom said to me you left school. Because he never used to be here. He said he was a captain. After his vessel sinking, he went and captain other vessels. Okay. So I, I grew up as a youth man, liking the sea. Because I saw this vessel from my step when I was four years old. Me and my older brother, who was two years more than me. The vessel was anchored by Mabuya from a step we could see. And our father had sent a cook from his vessel ashore to ask my mother to meet him in Hillsborough. And while the cook would take me and my brother on the boat, my mom couldn't swim. She, she died 66 years old later and she still couldn't swim. She's like me. So she never, I thought you could have swim. No. I need to teach her. <laughs> it's so easy to swim. Thank you. Yeah. So she didn't send us on the boat, you know. She no. said it's too risky. And that day, I remember my brother jumped from a window because he was two years older. And begging me, it was, I don't know, with, like, I don't, he jumped it's from my house window, the blue house window, it's almost 11 feet. And I was four years old. He jumped and hold on a strap of a tree and fall along so hard and tell me I must jump. I tell him I can't jump. <laughs> One hour, I cry and I cry. He tell me, jump on catch you. And I couldn't jump. So I stayed in the house and he went on the boat. And then the boat went on sink. And I said, Gypsy, I never really got a chance to see the boat. Oh, really? Yeah. So it was. I think that, that's why uh, I'm into boats. I, 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 since, since I was four, I just wanted to be... Don't question things when they happen. No, just don't question things. Don't question it. Leave it right there. Leave it right there. Special friends, special right. people. So, out of white, tell us about this. Well, the truth is, is just what I heard from a friend. And um, the type of friends they are... I could feel it. It's much forceful and character. It was a lovely idea. So, so I guess a friend brought it for you? Yes, yes. Because they come at me every year, years ago, for, for Katie and Carico. What's that friend name you remember? Pete, Peter. Okay, Peter. Yes. And it was six other friends. They arrested them from England, but Pete lives on Island of Wight. Pete, Duncan, um, Cart. So I've got six other friends come at me, uh, every, if not every year, every other year. Okay, so they brought you a souvenir. Yes, of course. Oh, lovely. Landmark from Isle of Wight. Lovely. Special place, I understand. Special people. Yes. Nice. This is a piece of metal from a killing a little boy in the yard. We've been pelting stones and doing what we could do with this thing. I remember once my father went fishing with me in the boat and he used this in very deep water as a sinker. So he's fishing in with tutting hook. Uh -huh. And this was the sinker to bring all the water down. Okay. After fishing like 90 feet of water deep. So that means really heavy. But li yes, listen, the best of the original work for this was not that. My father said to me, that was an instrument for navigating on that vessel. Mm. It's the reason why I keep them, you know, it's, 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 imagine this, I keep this, and I would always have this, because I always had it. When he said to me, this was a depth sounder. So he said to me on board his vessel here, Catherine Isabella, going inside um, Port of Spain. Mm. You know, Port of Spain, the water is so river, you don't see the bad, you don't know where you are. Because all, everything is brown. The only way you could know the depth of the water, he said to me, you have long yacht, you have long cord, cords. It's a long line on this. One guy would stand here on the bow split at this point. Here it's called the bow split on the boat. Up in the front here, this is the bow split. So you would, to operate this, you would have four men. One would be up in the front here with this thing in his hand. But the man in the, one man would be all the way in the back here with the longest cord, the rest of the rope, the rest of the cord. So you have two more men in the middle here. So this guy in the front, when they were about to check the depth, he would pelt this thing as far as he could up front of the boat. And just while he slacked down to the other man who stands here, quarter fire, before you reach to this man, slack, 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 and by the time you reach to this man, you should be able to, this would go down in, whether it's 90 or 120 feet of water, by that time this should be hitting the water. So that's how you know the depth of water here. You can see after hooking the far distance. Yeah. This piece here, this is this, this, I started the museum with this. You started the museum with yes, this. So means, what is it? It's a piece of driftwood that it just drift in here one evening. It was strange it, the kind of condition we have. We had. Uh, wow, you look even here. Yes. So um I come down on the beach one evening mm -hmm. a few years ago. And uh, we were late, like after five. 
I was shadow boxing, I remember, because I spent a lot of time boxing and sporting. So I looked on the beach and I see something like a head on the beach, but I didn't pay particular attention. Right? I didn't pay particular attention. But every now and again, while I was moving and, and moving, like my eyes fall back on the thing, it was right there, so it was. So then somebody said, no, 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 let me go close and see. When I went, it was this piece, it was this. And I look at it all from all over, I thought, oh, it's something I could keep. So I brought it in the back. How long ago was that? How long ago? This must be here, I don't know, maybe about nine years. Okay. Yes. Sometimes I think I should preserve it, but so far, oh, it's yeah. every time I look in, you know, I keep looking at it. Keep it right there. I think so. <laughs> And from the minute I brought it here, everybody been asking me from yes. the years up till today. People ask, well, what is that? I say, well, this is just a piece of driftwood. Oh, they say it looks like a ostrich, it looks like a... <laughs> that's so what many. I thought when I first saw it. And that's the puzzle. Everybody come, even though five, one family come with five members, standing together, everybody have a different... Yes, interpretation. Way, really? what they saw, you know? And, 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 and that, that, that is the thing about it. So... That's the truth. Who's, who does this boat belong to? This is my boat. Oh, that's yours? Also. Ah, so I thought it was just the banana during the no, water. No. And a while ago when we talked about the banana during the name. Okay, so let's go closer and check it yes. out. Even with this boat shaped like a banana, people started calling me banana Joe even before I painted, <laughs> okay. painted the other boat in yellow. Right. Just for the shape of this boat. Cool. So this boat here now, I have this boat since 19... I have this boat like 28, 29 years now. Yes. Yeah? yeah? 29 years. It's big though. It is. If you come and when you go on the other side, you'll see more inside. It is big. Yeah, but I'm All right, so tell me about it. What makes it different to other boats? Um, many things. This was built in the American Navy. It's a Navy boat. Yes. It's coming here in a container. Okay. So just because of that, it's a different field boat. Than yes. You might see a boat looking like it, but it's not the same structure. It can never be the same. Yeah. And um, when I bought it, it was a wreck though. I, I bought this boat from a, well, it's still my partner now. An old white man, Dr. Denton. He's a doctor, he's a teacher. He but yes, I didn't see him. He's my partner up till today. Oh, we never wanted to finish bait because you always fish with me. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so, so he fish with you? Yes, see, every year he's going to fish with me. Yeah? Oh, that. And wow. so strange. You always want to pay for his trip. You know what I say? It's the most we bring five other guys and we go fishing. They all pay 100 US for, for themselves. Uh -huh. So I said, Doc, you don't have to say, no, 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 George. Just you keeping this boat floating. I'm so happy that I be the first one paying. Yes, so I can understand like, how you feel. Now he's my partner, my friend. Nice. Now this boat, I have it for, I bought some lobster pots from other Canada. Mm -hmm. So I put a new machine in and just wrenches. But the lobster season gets so weird since with the corona. So I have this boat up a year now, one year and a half now. Okay. A lot of water taxi work with this boat. Even when I plant up a street back in San Real and I have to take the kids from the school with this boat. And, well, for tourism sake, I thought I want a more modern boat. Because, you know, this is part diesel, inboard engine, you want some more effective. So I built this boat home in my house three years ago. Mm -hmm. Just inside my house, inside the blue house. I built this boat three years ago. So you're a boat builder? Well, I, uh, I had some assistant while building this boat, but you know, I designed the boat and I called my friend and we started building. And then I called another guy who read Mem. Mem, he's from Baker originally. Me, Mem, and Aaron built my boat. But I mean, I. Great job. Like Mem would say, oh no, no, I didn't build your boat, Joe But I would say, because I know you have so much more experience than me, I don't say, boy, Mem built my boat for me. Mem would say, no, 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 Joe Billy goes to his But But uh, it's like that. And we have one of the best boats. Yes. I like it. I have a hood. Normally, I would put a cover on I got a ride with it from Sandy Island. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Talking about this boat, and while we are at this moment, you know what I want to mention to you? Maybe before we go forward, from a tourism point of view, now, since the corona, plus the corona, we usually take the people up to the granaries. So a lot of tourists want to like to go to the boat. But before, long years ago, everybody wanted to go to Sandy Island. But now we're having a problem. I think I think all that you say now on the south side of Karaku we come back so beautiful. And I must tell you the truth that in Salem, which is so close to White Island, yes. there is so nice snuffling and the turtles there. Hello, I've been there about two months ago. So if I could have swim, I would have swum with the turtles. I have to be 
so that's how close it is. Nice. You know, I, 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 I begin to introduce my people who ask me to have a trip. I actually have a trip. It includes San Diego from here, here or wherever. I have to take the people up wherever they want me to go. Here we fire, right? Like you said before. Take them from here. We have a stop in Sandy Island. Go into the Oyster Bed for a tour. We could even go around the two We live here Sandy, a little wrong around the two sisters. Then into the Oyster Bed. Explain how it is. And then we could either go sailing and have a swim and then come White Island and eat a picnic and then come back. Sounds great. I really want to start to establish this for Carrick one. Nice. Nice. Easy one. Love the idea. We'll speak more about it. It's a long run, but it's a safe run. You have one it is. No clearance, and immigration, yes. and wait three hours. I, I brought some people from Osprey, and we take so long. When we get updated, it was almost 12 Yeah, yeah. And you have to pay your time, time wasting. The mm -hmm. And then you have to catch the Osprey for 3 o'clock to go back in there. So it's not. Yes, it's time wasting. And we have it here. We have paradise we have here. Let's now. make up use of I, it. Between me and you, for well, my plus years, since I was a kid doing tourism, I would like to see we use more like what we have here. And yeah, everybody exactly. We have it. Why not use and it? Spirit in it. <laughs> like you saw um, in, in Salim, we have this big carriage. Yes, we don't have to wait until people come in and tell us about no, it. Let's it. appreciate it and explore That's it right. for ourselves. If we have enough people someday on, on the same salon, if you notice how nice cricket ground we have there, nice. If you have 10, 25 people, I so love nice the idea. Cricket, you could create love it. There. Nice, nice. Right. So coming back to the boat, but now the one of this banajo happened to be everything right for small drop off and take off with, with passengers you know easy you can go close to show the sm small view and like i said i have the color for the sun so ideal for the future for tourism with that machine nice you're, you're talking about building boats were well, boats built on paradise beach before oh yes boats and, and vessels too bigger boats too i remember um that two vessels big vessels built on the beach one up the beach there and one a little lower down there one up the beach by Hoxie, a little lower than Hoxie, mm -hmm. and the other one built down here. But um, those built a little before my time, I just know about them. And if you notice well, then we had Sea Fortress and Sea Arthur built just back at the airport. Just around the sand at the airport there, you had two other Leicester vessels built. Well, one was Van Mackenzie, Van Mackenzie in Hillsborough. Mr. Van Mackenzie, my good my father, good friend, and my brother, the other man too. And like, um, but then, smaller size boats, a lot of smaller size boats been building here historically. Nice. As a matter of fact, the same um, Colonel Callis, the, uh -huh. the artist, he's been one of the best boat builder. Colonel yeah. Callis must build about 50, 60 boats in Leicester. He built the wow. fastest. Even the other artist, Anthony. My father is not a boat builder, but he could build a boat. Too. Okay. So I break out as a young man going out to repair. I'm a carpenter, I'm a, I'm a builder, really and truly, you know? So it's just natural for us to fall in line with building. But you come back, I could close my eyes and draw a boat. Same way you could think and just put the timbers in, you know? Do you know the name Sugar Adams? Oh wow, you make me laugh. <laughs> That's my grandfather, yeah. <laughs> he, he talking about Sugar Adams is historic because, um, you know, I, I, Sugar Adams' daughter is my mom. She died at 66 years old in 1988. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the blue house is that my mom's up on there. But I never knew Sugar Adams then. It took me a lot, a lot of years after to know my grandfather. Well, as a matter of fact, when I got to know him, I was already 14 years old. Okay. When I started to work, go to school in junior set. I was known like 11, I think. Well, he was a big drum dancer? He was the builder for the drum. He was a dancer and he was everything. The his nickname was Sugar <laughs> Colo Tambran. Sugar Tam. I said sugar tambran colo madams. He said the sugar and tambran is sweet and, and sour, sour. <laughs> because of the way okay. he did the job. I helped him build drum you know, when I was a kid. Now after school, he used to be the manager for the gin, the other cotton gin in his bar. And he was the man who in charge of the gin. So in crossing the shortcut to go to gin and sec, some older lady said, but your grandfather working in town. You know? So one day I think my older brother said, this is our grandfather. Just like that. He, he coming from Bellevue to work in town and we never knew him from Leicester. Okay. But then I, I, then I was in the age because I never had an older person in our family. Mm -hmm. But he used to drink rum mm -hmm. and smoke a pipe. 
but he don't drink on the work on that. But I get to know him after he was a rum man. So he had a one best. When I get to know him more and more, he always say, Come and meet me by Uncle Lord. He had a shop down at the bottom of town opposite Backley's old bank there. Mm -hmm. Which part the girl from Top Hill sell now. That was Uncle Lord's shop in the next. Okay. So he always say, Well, meet me there. And then I get to realize he always in that shop drinking. So he catch his bus to go Bellevue. And then after that, um, well, my mom used to dance a bit big jump too. But he had his story thing about Shiva dance. One day we went in Bellevue where he lived. And when I went and I see where my grandfather lived, it was surprising. I couldn't believe people lived like that, you know. So it was strange when we come back home and ask my mom, and how they cook. Because mm. he had two relatives. I think since in the early 70s they went to England. I don't think they ever come back in Canada. I think it was Simon and another man. Two, two, two. And the cooking, I, 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 I used to feel embarrassed for my grandfather. And that caused me to walk to Bellevue every day mm. to bring food for him from my mother's yeah. house. That's nice. Every day for real years. God Until bless you. Until one day, the rain was raining so hard here and I couldn't go. We couldn't walk from here to Bellevue that day. And I tell my mother, no, no, no. I, I, I can't go today. And as a matter of fact, I think you should try and get the father home. And by that, she brought him home. So okay, it's as a for that. Nice. God bless you. But he wasn't a lucky man because um, I think he'd been too kind to be lucky. Because <laughs> you know, in the later half, he went touring with Winston Fleury and the Carico group. And you know the only thing, Winston Fleury, at one time he says Baha, because there's still all the bass, all the tambourine, and all of my grandfather's money and the clothes. So he come from a big tour from England, America. I was home when he come back. That was in 1981, he must be. In 81. Mm. So he come back home with 300 EC dollars from going to Buckingham Palace. After three weeks, never get it close. Winston Fleury came in the next play. Two years after, he tell me Baha have the drums in America. So you never get a big drum, a cent. So for me, the, but that's where my strength is. I don't believe in people because, you know, I believe in the Almighty and good people. Amen. So Sugar Lamb, he had a good life, but he wasn't lucky with achieving nothing. Yeah, a lot of us are like that. But I think I am so with happy you. with helping him. Yeah, God bless you yeah, for God that. God really bless you. Listen, me. before we wrap up, great interview. Before we wrap up, yes. we are on Palace Beach and we're looking over at Sandy Island. Right, we're looking over at Sandy Island and we know for some time we were losing Sandy Island due to erosion. Yes. You remember those times? What do mm -hmm. you remember about it? Everything. Every, everything. Because like I say, from a kid I was between here and Sandy. That's where we catch bait. So, um, after the... Storm, we were there. Yeah, so tell me what you remember about Sandy Island. Yeah, like I say, I remember everything about Sandy. First, time I went on Sandy as a kid, how it used to be a long, long time ago. We had a big, we had a bad house, big house, huge, huge house. And then after a while, it began slowly, began to erode, and then from Storm Surge. Storm Surge did come to the Caribbean. Well, we, what we had first, the hurricane before the Storm Surge, wasn't it? Was it we it? had Hurricane Lenny. We had Lenny. Mm -hmm. And Lenny did a little damage to Sandy, and they, but then we had the Storm, storm Surge who dig up somebody protect a lot. I think it was Lenny that created the defense system. So it's Lenny? Yes. Right. So when Lenny hit us then, mm -hmm. he, make, he make a lot of defense for something. Real, real, real perfect and good. And it lasts for a long time. So before that happened, how was it? He had a lot of trees? A lot of trees, yes. Before it had a lot of trees. Yeah. And just before Lenny, we were losing it. What do you remember about it while we were losing it? Well, it, uh, it, uh, it, it's, um, it, we were losing it. It's nothing we could have done because we noticed the trees then just coming down. You, you just told me you remember it having one tree there? Well, that's on the later half. <laughs> they, they come down, they come down, they come down. And you, you could feel it coming down. As a matter of fact, one time, because I always with environment and tourism supporting, we, we had asked the, the ferry boats. To stop passing in front. In front, yeah, it was the Alexiana, we talked to Alexis, yes. to you, and, and uh, you know, the stronger boat, and they did. So, we've been trying to do everything to act. As a matter of fact, from a tourism point of view, we even say from the club, Mate and then come. We, we try not to keep more than 150 people at one time. Mm -hmm. because, you know, we try to do all that to pre the sand back. Yes. And then I started planting trees here. This tree here. That's trees that I, I just leave where they were for here. All the rest of the trees. Oh. I used to hatch all the trees here. Uh -huh. We have brand new But I get all the hatch. And sometimes when we want to march with the school kids to plant them, we just come and 
Definitely, great job. We had, we had other, I remember snack plants and trees together with after us and between us. So that's how the trees come back. And that is so passionate to you that you wrote a poem. You, yeah, I just want you to tell me the idea behind it. Well, the truth is, one day I remember I'm in Sandy Island and seeing the erosion on Sandy Island, I thought I should put, well, I've been focusing and trying to figure, and then I thought, when I look from Sandy Island, I look on Paradise Beach where we were a while ago, and I even watch how much that um, sea water is hitting to the road. That is when I really thought I should write something now. So I started the poem saying, um, Oh, here I am standing almost all alone. The reason why I say almost all alone, standing, because while diving around Sandy, I could see how many dead trees was lying in the bottom. So it was seem like he had no company with that one, but there were company, was just not standing. And then, um, so I thought, look in the east, look to the north, to see the Caribbean Sea. When you look to the south, that is when I saw the sea water going in paradise on the road. So I made a nice little poem and then one tree that was still, one coconut tree that was still standing by the end of the direction with these, the north and the south and the, whatever I write in the middle, I put it like coconut tree joe. So it was like coconut tree joe is who gives all the information on the animal. I love it. <laughs> yes. I look forward to the release of that poem. I hear you somewhere in a suitcase case since then, yes, <laughs> and I would look for it. We have to take it out. Good. Thank you very much. This is you very, very informative. Is there anything that we missed? Well, we would always, maybe not miss, mm -hmm. but we always have more things yes. for to talk about. So we'll come back again. Okay, my dear. Thank you very much again, and God bless you. Welcome. And to all viewers, thank you very much for viewing this one. Um, we encourage you to continue subscribing to our YouTube channel and to like our videos, comment, and share them. Thank you once again, and have a great day. Bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you too.